<laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to be drawing our logo a little differently today. I love variating our logos a lot. So you're going to see me already kind of completing <laughs> the drawing a little bit. And that's because I thought about doing the video after the fact I started, like, made, like, outline and everything. So you're just going to see me draw. I hope this was really enjoyable. You can see, like, the camera moving up and down because I'm holding it. Until I thought of the genius idea of setting it down. This is my first draw with me. And this was when I was like a sophomore. So it's been quite a while since I like fully saw this too. Yeah. I think it's really interesting to see like artists grow and develop as well. Just because like it's really weird to see my own work, I would say, actually. Just because I'm like, oh, I actually did improve. Or mm, that one was kind of a flop. You never know what you're gonna get, basically, I say, when you like go back and see what your work was like. I still remember like how my sophomore year has been going, and this was like very, very stressful. I don't think dorm life was really for me or Ren or even Luna. We all were dying <laughs> constantly. I really enjoyed like specifically how easy practices were back then though, just because we already were like near each other in proximity, but like now it's a lot more healthy our group is a lot more healthy i would say i mean we argue still yes but like it's so much easier to deal with conflicts i would say even and yeah i think we're very happy as a group even when it comes to like just art styles and stuff like we have very different aesthetics but it's really fun to see them all kind of collude into like how we post on instagram even even how our selfies look it's really fun and I really love the way we like sit down and think about how we do creative processes and like the whole debut storyline like hello that took two years I would say and we would have like coffee and sit down and like really talk about it it was to the point where sometimes I would like purposely miss my classes um it was really fun I will say and I really do enjoy like all the creative hardships we do go through because it's super pushes us to become really, really good as a group in general. So my very first art class in college was like this very um, still life type of class. And mind you, I'm not the best realist artist out there. So I really did struggle in terms of like letting go of my very cartoony, like midway type of style. And I would have Ren a lot of time like come in and like critique it for me because it was very hard for me to like accept that I can be a realist artist, A, and then B, actually do the realist work. Another hard challenge about that class was like we would be given like charcoal, right? And we had to do like charcoal like flower drawings and stuff under like a minute. Sometimes the teacher would give us five minutes. Um, but like, I would always have like anxiety panic, like the panic that you get from taking tests while like midway through. Also like I would start like profusely sweating when it was like five seconds left for some reason, even though it was just for practice. So like, I guess I'm always really stressed when it comes to deadlines. Even with this video, I'm like stressing out like to the very last second. And you would think I would learn, I don't learn. I literally do this every single time with every project. Welcome to this, yeah. Very long hours for this group. <laughs> this piece took me like six hours, maybe five. I really don't know. I was doing it all day. It was very, 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 very fun though. <laughs> Um, I don't know. This piece, I really just got into the zone. It had no purpose, actually, initially, in, like, the creative process, but then, like, the group liked it, it got approved, and, like, now it's a part of the whole, like, I guess, concept, and it's really fun to have, like, random spontaneous ideas within the group. Um, like, Red will have the most outrageous YouTube titles, like, ever. To the point where sometimes it's clickbaity and it's so funny to hear it. Um, I'll make up the most like cringy, cringy, cringy subtitles and stuff. And honestly, Luna's the only normal one um, sometimes where she actually knows like, oh, what is like advertisable while me and Ren are just like goofing off 
not taking anything seriously obviously when it comes to practices and like real stuff we are very focused but when it's like you know just naming projects like yeah it's really bad (laughs) we were sitting down talking about like a lot of aesthetics we really loved like space themes because it's already been done in the music industry but i really really think that we can give and offer something a bit different and new for us especially because like since we all do have different aesthetics like we can take the space concept in so many directions and like i really think it was a really fun additional aspect to the overall concept that we will be debuting with and i hope that future members can also like really take a spin on it like there's a lot of like it allows for a lot of spontaneity and also a lot of like innovation in terms of like our storylines and how people can express themselves and i think that really aligns with how ren views music production where she really wants people to be able to express herself themselves themselves yeah and i think that's really cool that's it goodbye